Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. And today, um, I thought we could just do some lighthearted makeup while everything in the real world is kind of going crazy. I know there's been a ton of people talking about it. Every Everywhere you look, people are talking about it. So this, I just want my channel to be kind of a safe haven so you can almost, I don't, you can't forget what's happening outside, but maybe it'll just be something where you don't have to think about it for a while. So today I just wanted to do an eye look and I wanted to use the Juvia's Place Deuce palette, this guy here. This palette is stunning. As you can see, I do have a pan in it, but I thought maybe we could just do a eye look on this. Um, I know some people either think that this is an extremely beautiful and cohesive palette. Some people think that it's like totally like in disarray and they don't know what to do with it. The only shade in here that I don't really fancy is this Mont Blanc shade. It doesn't, it's not the most pigmented. So it's just kind of, I thought today we would just sit down, we would do a quick eye look. I really don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna kind of wing it. So we'll just, we'll get started. I am also, I'm gonna prime my lids using this. I tried this in my Sailor Moon and um, Sugar Pill, like eye swatch try on like comparison video and i was not thinking that this was going to be a good eye base but man my eyeshadow stayed on all day after that video all day all day long and i've been wearing it um all week so i've taken a pump and i'm going to take my damp i'm just going to take a bit of this and pat onto my eyelid normally this doesn't look super crazy because i'm Blending it onto my own skin, but this looks a little nuts. So that is that. So I'm gonna take um Fairy Moose, this guy here. So I'm just taking Berry Moose, the tan shade, and using that into the crease. So it's already looking like a little less crazy. I'm gonna take crepes up here. It's like definitely more red toned. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush. Again, Morphe. I was part of their like brush subscription service. I don't know if I've mentioned that on camera before, but I definitely used to be part of like their brush subscription thing. The shade is so pretty. The shade is so pretty. Maybe I should zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. Hi, how are you? How is it going? Hopefully this, let me scooch in a little bit. Hopefully you guys um, can see it really well now and it's not too washed out, I know. So hopefully that's a little bit more true to color. It's probably a lot washed out and it doesn't help that I have like white on my lids right now. So I'm gonna take a even smaller like domed type brush and I'm gonna pick up Chocolat, that one there. And we're gonna dust that into the inner, or the outer, excuse me, the outer corner of the eye. And then I'm going to take that same brush and go in with crepes and kind of buff that around. I am debating. I wish you guys were here to tell me which color to use. Yeah, I'm going to just use the green. That, the green always calls me. I don't, it's like something about that particular type of shade. I'm like, get it all over me, please. So I'm going to take just the side of, the flat side of the Anastasia brush that comes in the palettes. This might be something I will apply with my finger, but we will try it with this first. Gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, and this shade is called um, Macaroons. Mm. 
yeah. I hope you guys like how that looks because I think that this is so pretty. It's unbelievable. Oh, so I took in a little bit more custard and I just fluffed it in. And now I'm going to take the brush that had um, Mary Mousse, the cream shade, and just buff out the edge. And then what I want to do next is I'm going to take that bright, bright purple and dust this on the lower lash line. This shade is so cool. It's super, super bright. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to take this brush here that's already stained, so I don't mind using it for a bright, bright purple. This shade actually looks a lot, the shade looks like a lot like the one from the Sailor Moon palette too, so maybe that would be a viable option as well if you didn't have the sailor moon palette but were like craving just that purple i am going to bring this into the crease a little bit just to tie the colors in a little bit better not like a lot, but and then I'm going to also go over it with the chocolate shade. And I could be like totally butchering that. I did not take French, so not sure. Um, but I am going to take the brush that had the chocolate shade on it and then just kind of buff like the very outer corner and then just kind of bring it down a little bit into the outer like lower lash line corner. I really like this though. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Then the last thing I think I'm gonna do, no, first I'm gonna take a little bit of creme, that shade there, and I'm gonna take the same brush that I used for um, Berry Mousse. I'm gonna tap really lightly into it, and I'm gonna use that to blend um, that really bright purple shade, just so it's not super stark. Uh, then I'm going to take this brush here. I'm going to take this little guy, and then I think I'm going to just take this duochrome there. This one is called Tarte, and it's a, like, white, but it has, like, purpley shifts to it. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is, ooh, I almost did it in the wrong shade. But I don't know if you can see that. That's really pretty, though. And if anyone knows me here on my channel, you know that I love a strong highlight. So I'm going to take the fluffy side of that Anastasia brush, pick up Tarte, the duochrome, and then fluff it under my brow bone or my brow arch. And then I'm going to take the brush that I used, like my first brush, and then just start blending everything um, like all around the eye. So just so there's no like stark um, lines and everything looks really blended. Now the only question I have is do I want to add a wing? I'm gonna do a wing, so hopefully I can just speed through this and you guys can watch. I'll have this in like double time or something. That was like my best wing with this pen yet. That is so good. They look close enough, right? This I, I always draw my wings differently and I just kind of don't care. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I just don't. It is what it is. So I'm gonna just take my mascara, coat it on. I got mascara all over my eyelid. All right, thank you so, so much for watching, taking time out of your day. I know things are crazy. Um, I really, really appreciate it. 
Let me know if any of these colors you'd like to see me use in a different video or if you have a color that you would like to see that I haven't done yet, let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. It does help me out. I know like you'll hear every YouTuber say that, but honestly, it does help. I mean, you guys take care, be safe, be healthy, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.